this is Sean Payne here. I'm hoping you can see this sign I have here. It's a, uh, it's a sandwich sign. Uh, hope you can see it. It says, God is angry with the wicked every day. Psalm 711. I just received it in the mail. Yeah, I see. It's missing the S. I don't know if you can see that, but that's okay. And I'm going to be wearing this as I street preach in the open air. I'm quite excited. Um, Jeremiah got the people's attention by using a yoke. Uh, and I believe Isaiah walked barefoot and Ezekiel laid on his side. I'm pretty sure I may be inaccurate about the uh, former two. But the point is that these uh, preachers, uh, these prophets, got the people's attention uh, by doing something that would be deemed weird or odd in the eyes of society. But it worked. And street preachers today often use sandwich signs or banners and it gets people's attention and it uses God's words that does not return void. And this is a side of judgment, God's wrath and anger against the wicked. And on the other side, uh, it says the blood of Jesus washes away sin. I hope you can uh, see that. Uh, that's not an actual Bible verse, but it's pretty good. Uh, let's get a closer uh, look at this. Um, as you can see, uh, it's really nicely done. It was sent to me uh, from, uh, I believe, in Las Vegas by um, uh, Bible Jim. Uh, he likes to call himself uh, at BibleJim.com. I do not necessarily endorse everything on there. Uh, I've seen it. It's got pretty good stuff. Um, yeah, it's uh, a ministry of his. He sends signs and banners to street preachers around the world. Uh, not, um, I mean, you he has questions to ask you and so on, and you can send donations. Uh, but BibleJim.com is his website. Uh, let me just get to uh, show you the other side of this sign. Uh, let's just get this off here. Yeah. And uh, here we go. The blood of Jesus washes away sin. I think you can see that. Um, it's heavy duty sign. Um, it's made. Uh, yeah, it's heavy duty. I don't know the material exactly, but it's strong. And uh, it's about eight pounds. The last signs I had, I made out of Bristol board and so on, and wrote on them with markers, but they got destroyed. I don't think this is going to get destroyed too easily. So uh, hopefully this is an encouragement to you to not to be ashamed to publicly display the Word of God. Uh, and be faithful if you're a Christian to preach the Gospel to every creature. And if you're a heathen, go to ourewillmonster.com. Uh, thank you for listening. Amen.